On this video, I'm going to give you nine easy to follow tips to book an airplane ticket for a nice price because nobody likes to overpay for stuff. Tip number one. Uh, when you try to book an airplane ticket on the internet, make sure that before you start searching, you switch your computer on private motors. Or if you search today for an airplane ticket and you decide not to book the ticket today, that after you stop your search, remove the cookies. I know there are several people who say it doesn't matter anymore, but still up to today, if I find a look for a ticket today, and look for the same ticket tomorrow, for the second time I look, always the price is up. So there's something going on there. Tip number two. It's the most surprising tip maybe for a lot of people. It also matters on which day of the week you want to search for a plane ticket. So it turns out that uh, Tuesday midnight, Tuesday evening, the tickets are at the lowest point. The closer you get to uh, the weekend and search for airplane tickets, more people look in the weekend, so more competition is going on, so the prices go up. Tip number three, look at several uh, websites. There are many websites out there. I uh, myself uh, prefer Skyscanner, but you also have Expedia or maybe Google Flights. Uh, there are many websites out there. The advantage of a website like a Skyscanner is that they compare already the prices of different companies. When you do see a good price, always take the time to look at the uh, website of the company itself. Like see you have a good price on a KLM flight or a Qantas site, always take the time to go to directly to the website of the airplane company. Because sometimes they have a special celebration going on, a special offer of the day or weekend day. So it can be that if you book it directly on a website, the prices are even lower. Tip number four. When you see a good price on a, a plane ticket, always take the time to look in what the extra cost will be. Like a cost for paying by credit card or maybe you have to pay for your seat or your luggage. There can be a huge difference in the extra costs. Tip number four. Which day of the week are you going to fly? The cheapest days to fly are the Tuesday and the Wednesday. The closer you get, of course, to the weekend again, the prices go up. Tip number five. Which airport do you choose to fly in and out of the destination? Uh, like I'm from the Netherlands. We have uh, Schiphol Airport Amsterdam. Uh, that's of course the biggest but also the most expensive airport in the Netherlands. If you choose to uh, go in and out to an other airport, it might be cheaper and also most of the times the parking costs are very low. Tip number seven. Most airplane companies have a policy that you have a free cancellation uh, from your plane ticket within 24 hours. So if you now see a very good uh, plane ticket price and you're not sure it's the best one, you can actually book this one and uh, go on with the search. Because if you see a better one, you can cancel the first ticket for free. It only works if the plane ticket is, uh, you book it like uh, way ahead, like four or five, six months ahead. So before you think like I have free cancellation, make sure that you read it somewhere on the internet page. Tip number eight, flexible. Flexible is key. If you're flexible, even on which destination you want to go to, what day you want to fly, uh, which airport you want to use, you get the best prices. Uh, so on many websites, you can actually say, I want to fly, say, on a Saturday. And you can uh, type in that you can leave also two or three days earlier or later. And also uh, arrive, uh, go back uh, earlier. And you don't type in a destination. You get the best ticket prices on destinations for that time. And you can actually choose if you want a direct flight or you uh, don't mind if you have a layover. And you can get some good destinations for some good prices. Tip number nine. Uh, most of the times if you book your ticket way far ahead or just very close to uh, departing, uh, the ticket prices are the lowest. 
There is a big risk, of course, that if you want to wait for the last minute to buy your ticket, it can be that the airplane is already full and you're not going to go to that destination or because of the shortage of the seat, the price has gone up. So that's a tr pretty tricky one. These were all of my tips for finding a, a good airplane ticket for a freer price. I know it takes a lot of time. But if you take the time and it's a hobby for you, you can easily save up maybe 10 euros, but it can go up to a few hundred euros that you save on price and you can spend that money on other stuff. So uh, I hope you like these tips. I have more videos out there with other tips, of course. You can subscribe to my channel. Hope to see you in another video. And I say, let's explore this beautiful world together.